This piece, not particularly beautiful, was created by two artists, Jennifer Shahade, who's a woman's grandmaster and author, and Daniel Marome, a filmmaker. They were inspired by two main things. One was a engraving from 1534 that was extremely misogynistic, and uh, they were very disgusted by the fact that the women in the game, they called it the mad women's chess game, the queen, gained a lot of power, which was uh, indicative of what was going on in Europe at the time. And people were saying really horrible things about them, and it's reflected in this engraving. So Jen also does a lot of commentating for chess games, and people were saying horrible things about her in the comments, one of which was that she was not particularly beautiful. So she created a new piece in 2019, and it was part of our exhibition, A Beautiful Game. And what she did is she took actual things, negative things that had been said about her and other female chess commentators, and it's written in this beautiful script, so it's kind of misleading that it would say something like, um, is that lady on drugs, or stupid, or the voice of Satan? And she left the black squares blank. And in two different instances, which one of them was in our exhibition, women got to write their own things that people had said about them that were negative. One of which is, um, you're, you seem smart for an art girl. This piece was really important for that exhibition, which also featured other things uh, that discussed beauty in the game of chess. The first chess set that we have in this vitrine is on loan to us from the National Museum of the United States Air Force. It was once owned by Harold Wichter, who made it while he was a prisoner of war in Stalag Luft I, a prisoner of war camp in um, Germany. He made it himself using tools that he found there, and he even wrote a humorous poem about it, saying that as soon as he had finished making it, the Red Cross delivered chess sets in aid parcels. We have an example of that type of set in the center in a chess set that's part of our own collection. It was donated to us by the daughter of Arthur Williams, who was a prisoner of war in the Stalag Luft IV camp, which was in Poland. The conditions there were particularly grim and the soldiers there even had to go on a forced march. We don't know when he got this set, um, but it was one of two possessions he brought back with him from that experience. The second was a fort. The third chess set that we have shows a different aspect of chess in World War II, which is chess as a source of leisure and fun. This was a set that was given to Herschel Lewis when he enlisted um, in the army. He took it with him to the European and um, Pacific theaters, and he was from East St. Louis, so it had quite a lot of traveling that it did around the world. He used it to play with friends that he met along the way. This fun piece was part of our 2015 exhibitions, Kings, Queens, and Castles. We partnered with the Magic House, the St. Louis Children's Museum, to put together this fun interactive exhibition, which was the first time we did a show that was just for children. We had a huge castle that took up the entire second floor gallery and had really fun interactive stations where you could make crowns, dress up as the chess pieces, and play a live game and use this as a photo opportunity. So come on down and get your picture taken in it again.